In this video, we will study about the female reproductive system. The female reproductive system can be divided in two parts, the external sex organs and the internal sex organs. Before beginning, make sure to subscribe Math Simplified on YouTube for all the upcoming videos on topics like spermatogenesis, male reproductive system, oogenesis and much more. So first, let's talk about the external sex organs also known as vulva in case of females. The external sex organs consist of the mons pubis, which is a soft mound of fatty tissue in front of the pubic bone. The word mons means mound and the pubis refers to pubic bone. The word labia is derived from Latin word which means lip. Labia majora are the outer folds of the skin that protect the other external reproductive organs. They also contain sweat and the oil glands. Labia minora lie inside the labia majora and surround the vaginal as well as the urethral openings. The two labia minora meet at the front and form the clitoris, which is a highly sensitive as it contains many nerve endings. Clitoris is homologous to glans penis in case of males. The central part is the vulval vestibule, which contains the vaginal as well as urethral openings. Now let's study the internal sex organs of the female reproductive system. The internal sex organs consist of the vagina and the cervical canal, two fallopian tubes, the central uterus, and a pair of ovaries. Let's first talk about the vagina and the cervical canal. The vagina is a fibromuscular canal which is 10 cm long. It is lined by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. The vagina provides a path for menstrual blood and fetus to leave the body. The vaginal mucous glands provide lubrication. It also receives the male sex organs and the sperms. The cervix is the lower cylindrical part of the uterus. It is lined by columnar cells. It also contains numerous mucous glands which help in production of mucus for lubrication. The cervix prepares the sperms for fertilization and also dilates several folds during the childbirth. Now let's talk about the fallopian tubes. Each fallopian tube is a 10 cm long hollow organ which is made up of four parts. The infundibulum is the lateral end of the fallopian tube to which numerous finger-shaped projections known as the fimbriae are attached. The fimbriae pick up the oocyte once it is released from the ovary. The ampulla is the central dilated part of the fallopian tube and it is the most common site for the fertilization. The medial end of the fallopian tube is the isthmus which connects the tube to the uterus. Now let's study about the uterus. The uterus is also known as a womb or the child-bearing organ. The fertilized egg implants in the uterus and through a series of changes grows into a fetus. The uterus is 7.5 cm long, 5 cm broad and 2.5 cm thick. It is made up of the following parts, the fundus, body, the cavity of the uterus which is lined by mucous membrane and cornu or the corners of the uterus to which fallopian tubes are attached. Let's have a brief look about the walls of the uterus. The wall of the uterus is made up of three layers, perimetrium, myometrium and the inner endometrium. Perimetrium is a thin layer of epithelial cells that covers the uterus from outside. It is the visceral peritoneum of the uterus. The myometrium is the central thickest layer made up of smooth muscle cells. It has a very important role in childbirth as it undergoes a series of contractions and relaxations which propels the fetus outside. It is main site for development of fibroids and adenomyosis. Endometrium is the innermost and most active layer of the uterus. It undergoes a series of changes throughout the month under the influence of hormones, estrogen and progesterone. It is a site for development of endometrial hyperplasia and cancer. The ovary is the main reproductive organ which is 4 into 3 into 2 cm in dimension. The ovary has two main functions. First, it produces the female eggs, also known as oocytes. Second, it also produces the female reproductive hormones, the estrogen and progesterone. Looking at the cross section of the ovary, it is made up of the central medulla and the outer part known as the cortex. The medulla consists of the dense connective tissue. It also contains all the blood vessels, nerves and the lymphatics. The cortex consists of numerous ovarian follicles in various stages of development. 
these ovarian follicles secrete estrogen. When an ovarian follicle matures and releases a female egg, it becomes the corpus luteum which secretes the progesterone. So this was a brief overview about the female reproductive system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos and make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.